All I can see is red. All I can see is red. Oh my god. This is by far the worst condition we've been left in. Hey up everyone, and welcome back to our Lone Wolf Iron Man playthrough of Battle Brothers. It is currently day 95 in the big Battle Brothers house. And as you can see from the screen, it's going a little bit mental. Um, if you look to your right, you'll see the south attacking the north, or the most southern tip of the north. I wouldn't really count it as the north, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Um, none of them are hostile towards at the moment, because I technically haven't picked a side yet. I'm just kind of watching them kill each other. Um, but that's not really my aim for today. My aim for today is... Ba -ba -ba, I actually want to get us up to 12 men. I want to hire our last two lads and get us up to a full modicum. Um, I'll feel a lot safer. Not that you guys should feel any safer because there is literally any point you could die. But we've had a pretty good run so far. Touch wood. Um, do I have any wood in my inventory? Nope. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, so yeah, get 12 men. Continue with the old renown. Keep now in the holy war. If there's any offers of us being able to get involved, that would be advantageous. And also, it's probably going to be super cool to have a look at. Worst comes to worst, if I see any of this crazy fighting going on, I'll just jump in at the side. But I'm pretty sure he's going to lose that. He's against 30 people. I might just watch. Yeah, jump in there. Okay. Well, whilst they're fighting it out, I'm just going to do a quick patrol. These are pretty decent because it basically it's based on your input. So the more people you kill on the road, the more crowns you get at the end. So for example, if I do the maximum, I'm going to end up getting over a thousand crowns. It's not bad. And I also get 240 in advance. It's pretty decent. It's not the worst idea in the world. Well, that looks like our... Oh god, I didn't even get a chance to react. Looks like our first heads have arrived. Oh, I'm also trying something out with Sean. I've given him a crossbow, so I'm going to see if he opens up with that and then can switch. Because he does actually have sort of okay may, uh, ranged. So, yeah, see? Damage that he wouldn't have done before. I'll take that. Oh, there is an orc warrior. Just got to be a little bit careful of him. Just a little bit. He's got a shield. Oh well. Right, get ready for the orc rush, because we all know it's about to happen. Shields up, boys. Oh, that oh. More man. Oh wow. Stun, stun for the. Oh, he actually. See? But now I'm going to switch. Is anyone going to risk charging the spear? Apparently not. Which is, you know, understandable. Right. I'm worried about him, obviously. So we should really focus on taking care of everyone else as quickly as humanely possible. I say humanely. Nothing super humane about it, is he? Really? Oh, he got into the. Uh oh. I don't think I have to explain that that's bad, right? That's also bad. Oh no. Ah, oh, could you please stop with the stuns? And a bonk. That's more like it. Hmm. Not so much. Shield up. Seventy-two, forty-six. Ah. Ah. I choose neither. Oh, wow. He's really getting in. 
Right, now that you're not bonked anymore, can we get some damage done, please? Please? Thank you. I am so worried. Right, let's free up some of these guys. Ah, that's not what I meant! Flags out for the lads. His armor's almost gone. Right, armor's completely gone. And you're routing. Aaron, get out of there. Oh god, he's, he's too fatigued. You- Oh! Oh! Ouch. Rob getting that axe into play. Jack getting that new cleaver into play. Right, you know what? James got his face cut open. It's only fair he cuts his face open. Ah! Divine Retribution was in front of you. Come on. Oh well. Hey, at least nobody died. Oh, you can see the scar on James's head where he's been sewed back together from being brain dead. Ouch. You're just gonna be a pain in the ass, are you? Nice one, Rob. Fraser goes in with a poke. Nice. A few level ups. No permanent damage, really. That's really not so bad. Once again, like I say, that Orc Warrior was always gonna be a bit of an issue as soon as he punched into our back lines. But you know, 49 crowns ahead, that's 400 ish crowns. If my maths is maths, yeah. An athletic drunkard. Sure, fuck it. Tall star in melee skill. <laughs> single star in melee defense. Single star in range defense. You get 10% damage, you got five, plus 5 resolve. You build up 2 less fatigue, yeah. You're okay, Ulrich. You bastard. I'm gonna see if you survive first before you get to become one of the lads, though. I'll be honest. If you survive, then welcome to the team. But until then... So we're not a completely wasted journey, I suppose. We've high number 11. Temporarily, at least. Maybe we'll find number 12 on the road. Maybe number 11 will survive long enough to name him. Yeah, wait, oh my, my mass is bad. I'm gonna try and go like, north north. So I'm gonna try and get to like, Dusterberg. And see if the reason I'm not finding any of these holy war contracts is because it's to do with the north north. But we'll see. That's all I'm in. I think I'm more annoyed about, God damn it. I think I'm, well, that. I think I'm more annoyed about not only that the elevation's on their side, but they don't really have anything I want to loot. So I hope they've got, like, some secret items stashed away. Because, uh... God, that crossbow is actually doing some really good work. Because otherwise, I'm not really feeling this fight, honestly. But we'll see, I guess. Oh, God, they're stacking up high up there. Jeez, Louise. Start killing him, please. We need to get some morale checks going. Morale checks? Yeah, there's some. I'm gonna wait for that guy to come down to me. I think that's fair. Now I'm gonna come up and party over here. Ah, I shouldn't have left them there. I'm gonna put Lorinian up there. 
And we'll bring Jack up there. This is sort of like a, a crescent moon, as it were. Uh, and I'm going to see what this guy does, because at least if Elliot stands there, he can't really get around. Potentially. There we go. Good. Didn't stun me. That's nice. I like not being stunned. Oh, he's surrounding me. Alright. Okay. Okay. Switch to switch to the hub line. Ah, but someone got stunned. Bloody typical. Wow, that was bad. Right. Try and please try and take out the crossbowman. We know wow, he hit an eleven percent then. I just realised. It's quite good. 39 for 4. Yep. Get behind shield. Pop off one over over there. You just go for a bit of a swing. That's grand. 82. Oh, wow. Missed an 82. His arm is gone. Not that I wanted it anyway. You shield up. 28, 23. There's no point. Get behind shield. Are you gonna fire? Oh, I, ah, there's a line there that I did not see. I was very smart on the computer side. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, man. Fucking crossbows. Every time. I'm telling you. Ah, oh, something to deca decapitate him as well, but next time for sure. We need to take care of them like yesterday. Come on. Guys! That's better. Ah, oh, stop stunlocking him, please. Alright, get into range, do we? So. Every time he fires, it's a little bit scary. Wow, even I'm pulling some bad hits now. This could get... Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Right. Come in and join the party. You come up now. Who's stabbing next? That's okay. <sighs> Come on, you got you got to prove that you're part of this team. I don't even know why I'm attacking him. He's running away. He's just in the way. Um, let's get behind a shield. Scary! Right, he's handled. Figures, bloody hell. Figures it would take him, someone else to deal with, though. 38. 43. 43. That's great. Also great. Whatever. Thieves in. Go. Cool. Uh, I'm actually gonna pull Rob out for a bit because he's not looking too great. We just don't kill anyone with it. I swear to God. Right. The two people who aren't routing. Oh. No. <laughs> Elliot just walks up to him like the mad lad he is. Taking care of business every day. Beautiful. Right. Let's clear up. Cause this is what you get for attacking us unawares. You know what? I'm gonna chill out over here. You let him get away. No, 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 no.
Come on, go get him. Ooh, you can catch him. Make up for your mistake. Go get my hand. This guy! Why are you... Just accept it, man. Just accept it. Just accept it. Somebody just finished him off. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, someone got him. There you go, clean up your mess. Or someone will do it for you. There you go. Nice! Well, I'd say that I was a little bit concerned, but that didn't go too badly. Um, I mean, you had like the smallest amount of crowns, but in terms of like stuff... Eh? What is terrorizing Grunen back for 1500 crowns? Holy hell. How injured are we? Green good neck. Yeah. I say we try it. Okay, so apparently there's a three three skull quest for Ah Direwolves, I see. It's a lot of money. Are they coming this way? Oh wow. This is awkward. Well, <laughs> could have brought them to the brigands, but would they have sided with the brigands? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's some frenzied ones. They're a li- oh god. They're all frenzied direwolves, except two, three, three. The rest of them are frenzied. Which is exactly how you'd expect it to be. No wonder uh, the contract was an expensive one. Of course, frenzied dialogues do not make for good bedfellows, as you can imagine. I mean, they don't make for good bedfellows anyway. But, <laughs> anyway. And the whole attacking three times is not what you call kosher. Uh, right. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, they've got Overwhelm as well. Oh man, this might be a bit of a nightmare. Uh oh. One of them hop, skipped and jumped straight over. What's that? Overwhelm times four? Oh my god. Can I, can I have some turns, please? Please, sir, can I have some turns? There you go. Right. We, uh... Need to get some work done. That's not what I meant. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the extra reach. It's really handy. Right, he's rowing. If we make him route, fine. Or straight up kill him, that's also fine. Mm. Nice. Oh dear! God, that teeth are sharp. Okay. Rob? Rob? Please stay alive. I can actually sort of see us coming out of this alive, so please let me die now. It's going surprisingly well. Shouldn't have said anything. 26. We still hit three. Um, just gonna two to loot. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Guess I'll save him. No, why not? Save you. I'll save you both. 
just survive. You do that, I think we're good. One left. There we have it. The eyes have it. Nice. All right, cool. Um, that didn't go too badly. That was actually technically easy money, and I've leveled up, and so has Auric, who I am going to rename because he is surviving. Sabertooth. Very cool. Hmm. See if that's got anything to do with going to the Punter's Up thing. Ooh! First level 11. I mean, it was probably... I mean, obviously it was going to be me anyway, but... Because I was the first of everyone. Um, yeah, amazing. Wow. Now, you can obviously go past 11. It just... But every time you level up now, you only get plus ones, which... It's a very slow burn. You also don't get any more perks, so I better make this one count. Now everyone, welcome to the Northern Lads, Invader Gary the Drunk Lads. He is a strong boy, and he has already made his mark. Let's see where he is on the kill counter by the end of the episode, and see if he's caught up to any of us. And yes, he's going to be a kill counter. He will be the best for it. So far, I'll do it. Let's see what's cracking. I haven't been up north north in a very long time. I just want the 12th guy. Ah, back to the place that hate us. I can tell, everything's still expensive. Do I just take a wild man? He's only gonna be a tank anyway. Fuck it. And welcome, Merry the Chaotic Lad. He's a barbarian, so his experience isn't great, but I can actually just even that out with student. As much as I wouldn't want to, it'll just make it easier. But he is, athle is athletic, so I think we've got our last tanky boy. I just need to decide what weapons to give to each of them. And with that, we have our 12 merry lads. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I didn't even mean to say that. But hey, I'll take it. Hmm. Interesting. That they're just here in town. Are they on halls doing some shopping as well? Maybe. Well, I'm already at 260. Rob's a, I kind of want to give it to Rob. So I think it'd be pretty cool. But I also don't want to waste it on... Although I suppose it better make it 185 and then I don't need to worry about getting any armor that's like 10 durability more, especially when the fatigue will be higher and it will have that. You know what? Screw it. Look at that. That's more like it. Oh! Yeah, go on. Let's go fight some on holds. I hope it's not the ones I've just walked past. Yeah! Stand tall, brothers! People can see this as a real mercenary company now, not a handful of wandering vagabonds. We train in strength, and now that our numbers have gone up, so will our price. We are getting there. Oh, it was 1319, it's now 1419. We are reputable, boys. This is a great time to be alive. Literally. And it only took, to be fair, we've only lost three people so far. Three people and two permanent, yeah. One permanent injury there, one permanent injury there. Wait, it is them. Four's a lot. Four of them is an issue though. Like, of course we're still doing work, just saying. That was partially injured already, at least. Oh, why'd I press F? Shit. Whoa! He weird. That was weird. They moved back. Okay, you move into there to protect him. Looks like we've got two battlegrounds, basically. Shit. That would have been amazing if that worked. Here we go! Stunned me. Come on down, I guess.
God damn. Yep, that's fair. <laughs> right, routing. Don't bother with it. Wow, that was bad. That was also bad. Routing slightly. People need to stop throwing me everywhere, please. That felt dangerous. Go on, get in there. Good man. Is it three hits? Come on. Now he's have to go around. Right. That one's now routing as well. Rob! Beautiful. Good work. Double bleed. Pokey poke. Slammy slam. And thank you, ma'am. Oh, I didn't die! That would have been a perfect end. Shitting Christ. That's one down. That's two down. Everyone's kind of injured. This might not be worth it. What? You shot me in the ass? What? What are you doing, step battle, bro? Oh, beautiful. God. Damn. Fractured ribs, bruised leg. Maybe you stay out. Is there anyone who's not, like, completely injured? Kind of okay. You're done. You're also done. You might be okay if you stay back. You're absolutely fine. Come on, we need to get him on. Stay over there. You'll stay over there. Well, time to flaunt it. Uh -huh. God. It's going to be a big hospital break after this one. It's always the same with bloody on holds. Do you think you can do it? Do you think you can decapitate it? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Bruised leg. Fractured ribs. Fractured hand. Crushed finger. Broken nose. Sprained ankle. Fractured elbow. Dislocated shoulder. Crushed windpipe. But it's better than being dead. Some people might think otherwise. But, hey. It was worth it. How much was it worth? Let's find out. Well, oh no, I'm gonna need, all I can see is red. All I can see is red. Oh my God. This is by far the worst condition we've been left in. All right, everyone's nice and barbered up. Everyone kind of looks kind of similar to a real counterpart, I suppose, close as I can get them. But those tools. I decided to put everyone who's injured in the back line, so if we get attacked at any point now, it's kind of down to a crack squad of commandos to try and survive. <laughs> oh god. This can only go one way. Anyone recovered yet? Nope. <laughs> the ancient city has fallen under the banner of Northern Crusaders. While the old gods no doubt rejoice, the followers of the Gilda will presumably seek to have it taken back. 
This may present opportunities for the northern lads. Ooh. Okay. So our ambition is to have 10,000 crowns. I can dance with that. Um, I just came from Grun and back and the paid work sucked. Sorry, but it did. I feel like the Holy War is going to be over before I even get involved with this raid. And it's going to make me kind of sad. What in the heck? Well. Seems like you could do with a hand with something else. Maybe, methinks. I am fine. See ya. Okay, well. I feel like we've missed out a little bit. As much as I've been bouncing around the entire map, I haven't been able to find a single contract for the Holy War. And it sounds like it's tapering off a bit, so I'm really worried I'm not even going to be able to get to see it, which is going to be a real damn shame. Um, I'm probably just going to leave it here for now. Everyone's pretty much healed up. Um, we're back in the southern part of the north, I suppose you could say. Um, did a few contracts. We've got our 12 lads all fully mustered finally. Nobody died again, which is great. We got our first level 11. Uh, let's quickly see who got the, who's got who got the most kills so far. I'm not really going to count myself because obviously it's going to be the highest and it's not really fair because I am an absolute machine, it seems, especially with the sword. God, I could do with a better sword. Anyway, without further ado, let's see from bottom to top who's got the least kills to the most kills. Okay, I have tied up the scores. In joint last, which is kind of understandable because they've only just joined the, the, the crew, as it were, is ba -ba -da -ba, Gary and where is he? Where's Mary gone? And Mary on no kills, but hey, it's going to happen. We're at level one. It only means sticking around for a few days. The time will come. In ninth place, Aaron with four kills. In eighth place, where is he? There he is, Sean with 12 kills. In seventh place, Nadine with 13 kills. Surprising a lot for 33 days, not bad. Certainly, so Julian had a spear. In 6th place, Lorenian, the only person with an injury still left over. They're doing some pretty good work to say that he's using a spear, and he actually has no mastery in anything yet. In 5th place, James, and to be fair, his survivability has been the best out of everyone's. I mean, you know, he's got brain damage, and he's still doing, he's keeping up with everyone pretty much, he's so close to leveling up. In fourth place, this is where he gets super close now. We have Elliot with 48 kills. The next one is so close. In third place is Rob with 49 kills. There's literally a kill in between them. Elliot could technically kill Rob, break even, and then Rob wouldn't be able to beat him ever again. Not that I'd want that to happen. So let's maybe not suggest that, eh? In second place is Jack with 67 kills. Two more would have been nice. And finally, in first place is our would-be, to-be sergeant man in the back row is Fraser with 72 kills. Round of applause for you, my friend. And then there's also me with 170 kills, but let's just sweep straight past that. So far, we're on two permanent injuries as well, and we have had... How many deaths have we had? We've had three deaths. I would say this is a pretty good tally. I think I'm probably going to keep a tally going forward. I think it's quite interesting to look at statistics. Maybe that's because I'm a fucking nerd, but whatever. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. As always, if you've enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel to get further notifications about future episodes of this playthrough and any other playthroughs I will be doing. But as for me, it's ciao for now.